Hello, I hope this video finds you in good health and in good spirits. I hope that you're all staying safe out there during these crazy times. I don't really know what to say in this video. Um, I just knew that when I found out the news, I had to sit down and start recording right away. So it was just revealed to us yesterday um, through social media that Mark Hoppus of Blink-182 has been battling cancer for the last couple months. And this is quite a shock to me. Personally, Blink-182 has been a huge, huge inspiration of mine. Um, ever since I was 16 years old, I've been listening to them. I still listen to their stuff to this day. I know pretty much every single song. Um, you know, you play it within the first five or ten seconds and I'll know what it is. They're great. I love them. And it's weird being a 16 year old and like having these guys as sort of like your idols, you know, people you look up to for creative inspiration. And then realizing as you get older that they're getting older and that they're mortal and that we're all mortal and oh my god life so i'm a lot of emotions right now but this video is going to be very brief because this is not about me this is about mark hoppus in particular this is about cancer it's such a terrible disease i've lost family to cancer um i've you know i've lost friends to cancer there isn't much that i can say that would bring awareness to it i mean it's it's so it's such a an epidemic in our society that you all know what it is. You know how it goes. You know what the experience is like. Even if you don't have any sort of direct knowledge of it, you know uh, what people go through when they suffer with this disease. It's a sucky, painful reminder that, you know, we're all mortal and any one of us could be stricken with this at any point in our lives. My heart is very heavy right now and, and my thoughts and prayers go out to Mark Hoppus and his family and his friends. Um, I just hope he gets through this relatively easily and safely and um, he recovers very quickly from it. But the reason why I'm making this video is to let you guys know that there are tons and tons and tons of cancer research centers and foundations and programs that help people with cancer um, that you can donate to right now. I'll leave a link in the description uh, to as many of them as I can think of. This video is really a call to arms. Um, as many people as, that watch my videos, I know I don't have a huge fan base, but I know that there are people out there that that watch, and I know that this is at least some sort of platform, that YouTube is a platform for me to be able to um, express sentiment and try and, and, you know, round up as many people as I can to this specific cause. So please, if you have anything, please consider donating today. Um, to any of the charities that I leave in the description or to any charity that you know of personally that you would like to donate to. And if money is tight right now, you know, I definitely understand. This is a, a crazy time, um, both uh, uh, socially and economically and financially. So if, if things are rough for you, I understand. What you can do instead is just spread awareness as much as you can. You know, social media is such a powerful tool nowadays. Um, for us to spread very specific messages um, and to get thoughts like these out. And I think it's very important to raise awareness to these charities and these organizations that have the, um, the abilities or the means to help people with cancer. So that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. Please consider donating. Um, I would really appreciate it. I know that this is something that impacts millions, hundreds of millions of people um, all around the world. Uh, it's impacted me personally, and it continues to impact me. Uh, cancer sucks, and I'm tired of it, you know, impacting people that I care about and people that I admire and people that I look up to. You know, I don't know Hoppus personally, but he's definitely, in, in terms of, of his creations and, and what they mean to me, he's always been a shining light, a, sh a beacon for me. Um, during some of my darkest moments. Uh, Blink-182 was one of those bands that I would just go to um, for comfort, for solace, uh, and to help define me, to help create an identity. I don't think I would be who I am today if it wasn't for um, a lot of the bands that I listened to, and, and one of those, most importantly, more than any of the others, was definitely Blink-182. So please consider donating. I'm going to stop rambling on Thank you, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other.